if it isn't the second best Slytherin. Hello, Melda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. So what? You finally scared everyone else away? Oh, I have plenty of challengers. They're just not very good. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Strong competition? Could that have been a compliment, Amelda? <laughs> Go ahead, believe what you want. It makes no difference. Compliments make people soft. No one goes around telling me I did a fine job. And do I care? No. I say I'm the best and that's all I need. So please, try to beat my record, fifth year. And don't be disappointed when you lose. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. You've improved, I must admit. That was a bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Yes, well, I am. Anyway, you didn't do abysmally. I can't deny that. But you'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. You said your reputation for talent put some people out. Like whom? If you must know, I've had to deal with jealousy from members of our house. When we were first years, Nerida Roberts and I spent loads of time on our brooms, pledged to fly every day. As my skill on a broom grew, rapidly I might add, Nerida suddenly didn't have time for flying practice. I tried to give her pointers, but she didn't have the natural ability I did. Clearly, she was jealous. Her thing spends all her time now dawdling by the lake, obsessed with mer people. Won't even learn to swim. I refuse to downplay my talents to coddle someone else's fragile ego. <sighs> anyway, I need to ready the next course. Stop by when it's ready, if you can handle it. We'll see, won't we? Till next time.
<laughs> I half expected you to back down. Rest on your laurels. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. To race this course again, visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race and check your time. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Can't go wrong with a broom. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wish I had the energy. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Where can I find this statue? It's not far from Irondale. It's down by the shore, near those old ruins. You can't miss it. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. I should look into the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? This looks like the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. I suppose I should try to find all the bodies. Revelio. That's it. I should tell Madame Twiddle about what happened.
One less humor to worry about. Enjoy suffering, do you? And if that student defeated our encampment in the town! <laughs> Quite finished. 
wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. Rebellion. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there.
after all. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional? to know he was right about that statue. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Uh, the name is Porrick Haggerty, and this is my shop. W what may I help you with? I'd like to ask you about your shop, if you don't mind. Certainly. That'd be fine. What would you like to know? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? It's uh, good luck for me you stopped by today. Glad you were able to stop by. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
Brilliant. to make me a few sickles when I set about my own. I don't expect to be thwarted by my own uh -oh. You're the little son of the same treadwell. You may want to. No. Oh, slippery little oh, Someone get me! Oh, yes! Yeah. 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 It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Rebellion. Pleasant surprise. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented the <sighs> Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class.
I hope those assignments... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious. Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? I see good things. After all, the future is mine for the taking, and I shall take what I must. Hmm. The future is not etched in stone. It can be carved out by those with very strong wills, and you do seem to possess one. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. as long as you like. Kinesthesia is a powerful learning tool.
should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Hogsmeade, here I come. Uh. Back from your latest flight? I want to hear all the particulars. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Brilliant! I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? It rides well. Does get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust of wind. Ah, yes. Hmm, I see. I think I know how to address that. Thank you. I owe you one. If it means another upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You sound as determined as I am to improve broom flight. It's a joy to have a collaborator like yourself. If I'm right, and I do hope I am, you'll be hearing good news from me soon. Thank you again, truly. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. That last welcome. Come on in. Now, where, where was I? Right. Oh yes. <laughs> no one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Come on. Gavellio. Watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Goblins are hiding.
Lumos. Lumos. Come on inside. Oh, watch yourself, though. Let's have you leave here alive. Hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just scolding some of the plants for spitting and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. By the way, Beatrice Green is the name, but you may address me as Madam Green. Welcome to Dogweed and Death Cap. Oh, uh, mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Oh, if there wasn't the constant demand for antidotes, I wouldn't need to stock so many of the little deers. Except, of course, for curses. And, well, if you've been petrified, then obviously you've come to the right place. <laughs> mind you don't knock the mandrakes. Or if there's an uprooting, you'll be the next one to drop dead and I'm in no mood for a clear-up. Someone died here. Aye. Fortunate, really, that it was just the one. Now then, how may I help you today? I think I'll just have a look around for now. Very well. Let me know if you see anything you like. What do you have for sale? Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. But your things will be safe with me. Until they're so... Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? I don't know about Central. You're worrying far too much. Looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy him? I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
proud of all the potions you've brewed. Hogsmeade, here I come. Here you found a bit of... Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. A wise decision. Thank you. Out of all the potions you've brewed. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. 